Anonymization? Yeah, okay. Pseudonymization? What the heck does that mean? Tokenization? Wow, now you've really lost me. So what do all these terms really mean? Basically, these are different methods of protecting personal information, or PII. So if your PII gets into the wrong hands, they can't do anything with the data. And you won't get fined. Anonymization takes PII and makes it so it can't be used to identify anyone. There are many anonymization methods. One example is masking. Masking occurs when your password is transformed into star symbols, or when the first five digits of a social security number are turned into stars. Anonymization is good for privacy, but not for business. You can't derive much profit from data that is all star symbols. This is where pseudonymization comes into play. I'm a former CIA officer, and in the CIA's systems, spies are given pseudonyms. That means someone named Jason Bourne might appear with the pseudonym Johnny Lifestyle. If the KGB intercepts an email, they won't have any idea who Johnny Lifestyle really is. It works similarly for your privacy data. Your data is given a different name, like a pseudonym, so the data cannot be linked to anyone. Tokenization is basically pseudonymization on steroids. Instead of using the pseudonym Johnny Lifestyle, we instead encrypt the real name and replace it with a token. Our new pseudonym might then be E67T. Well, you get the idea. The benefit of tokenization is that the real data is still available. You can still use this data for your key business operations. But if someone else gets their hands on the data, it will be useless to them because it's encrypted. Tokenization is definitely a best of both worlds option, but you generally need a platform like Zen Pravata to implement tokenization. This allows you to use the data, but also be protected against privacy fines. Have any thoughts, questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or message me directly.